hello, hello. Happy Friday. Um, I did not think I was going to go live today because I have a shit ton to do for the business and for my clients and badass and just life stuff. And so I was going to take today off, but as I think I said yesterday, and I just got back from hot yoga, so I'm literally like, my hair is sopping wet and it's sweat, so that's cute. Um, I didn't think I was going to go live today, but as I mentioned yesterday, I almost feel like when I don't go live, it's like I didn't like get a good night's rest. It's like I need it for my well-being. Um, and so... Uh, here I am. And also, I just want to share with you that like, that's as a sidebar, but if you are someone who has a deep desire to express yourself and has a deep need to, to share and you're called to share and you're called to teach and you're called to lead and you're called to educate and, inf and that's for, sorry, I don't know what just happened with my Wi-Fi, but, um, if you're called to any of those things, you know, and you feel that like the trappedness of whatever, you know, your current role is, your current job is, whatever you're doing in the day to day because you feel like a bird in a cage because you're not able to fully inform, educate, teach, share, express in the way that you want to. That's okay. And I know that feeling It fucking sucks. It's like, oh my God, like I'm not able to be myself in this container and I'm c capable of so much more than this. It's so frustrating. You're just like, oh my God, like I feel trapped like a bird in a cage. And so if you feel that at all, or like if you're, you know, working your business and you're part-time working your job or it, like you have a day job, like until your business kicks off or your business isn't where you want it to be. Or if you just haven't started the business at all and you're still working in a job that you feel suppressed by, start ex engaging in the practice or in the exercise of sharing a message. And it takes really consistent discipline and practice and devotion really to refine your message. And I mean, my your, my message is continuously being refined, right? Like when I first started, I was helping people um, like come to terms with the fact that they might be spiritual creatures, they might be spiritual beings. And then I got into passion and purpose. And now I'm in business coaching, which is what I was always meant to be in. But it took me going through the exploration of what is my message in order to really nail down what the fuck my message is. And my message is you can make money online doing what you actually love to do in your zone of fucking genius. And if you have the call, all you have to do is answer it because you were actually meant to do that and you're not gonna be fully satisfied or lit up or fueled or jazzed or in your element until you actually answer that call. And so if you feel it inside of you, yeah, I know I can feel frustrating, annoying, um, just like so, like just suffocating when you have to do the job that you don't like, that you may be trained for. Like I went to grad school to do my job that I was like, fuck this, this is not it for me. Oh my God. Um, so maybe, you know, you spent a lot of money or you spent a lot of time in getting that degree to doing the thing that you didn't want to do and you realized you wanted to, sh to pivot and shift. That's fine, but you got to answer that call within and not just one time. Like you have to continuously choose it and answer and answer and answer. And what and a lot of the times we think that saying yes to our business and our dreams and our goals is like ripping off a Band-Aid, right? I literally ripped a Band-Aid off my foot last night. I got this cut when I was on vacation and it hurts so bad. I actually should not have ripped the bandaid off because it hurts and I need to find another bandaid to put on it. But I, it hurts so bad when I ripped the bandaid off and I was like, ow, cause it had been on there for like, I don't know, like two weeks and it, I was in the Caribbean. And so it was like, you know, salt and sand and whatever the bandaid was like glued to my foot. So I ripped my bandaid off last night and it hurt so bad. And I was thinking about like, oh my God, the concept of like ripping off a bandaid. And like when I first started, saying yes to my soul and to my fuck yes energy, I thought it was just going to be like, I ripped a bandaid off and then like, I figured it out. Right. But the process of refining your message and the process of scaling your business and the process of getting more clients and making more money, but really doing what you came here to do and sharing your soul mission and sharing your soul message is really just like perpetually ripping a bandaid off an infinite number of times, right? It's like a death by a thousand cuts. Like you will never have to stop ripping off the fucking bandaid. And it's like, ah, 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 
up. Like it hurts. But then the more you do it, it hurts less because you know and you surrender and you admit the fact that like, oh, I just have to keep essentially trust falling, right? I keep, I keep, ha I keep having to answer the call of my soul. I, I continuously have to say yes to what I'm being shown inside of me. I continuously have to listen to the whisper, to the nudge, to the intuition, to what I know within me to be true to what feels right and say no to everything else over and over again. And in the beginning, that feels like ripping off a band-aid, ripping off a band-aid, ripping off a band-aid. And you're like, ah, ah, ah. But then you just keep doing it and you're like, oh, well, like, I'm not anticipating the pain anymore. Like, ooh, yeah, that stung, but whatever. Like, I needed that, made me stronger. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And it's, it's a continual growth of evolution and expansion into the person that you were born to be in order to get the things that you dream of getting, right? Like maybe like the accolade or the fame or the the you know, community around your message that the people, your clients that you serve or the money that you want to make or whatever it is in the type of empire that you envision for yourself, it's only going to come to fruition. You're only going to see the fruits of your labors if you continuously rip the bandaid off. It's not a one and done. We think everything's like, okay, I did it. So now what? Now where's the result? It's, and, and it's like, it's not like that. It's, it's a continuous jumping off a cliff and trusting and trusting and trusting. And as you do that, you, who you are fundamentally, your identity, your self-concept changes, who you are as a person literally changes and grows and evolves into the person who actually knows how to do the damn thing. Cause you're, you're doing the job of someone you don't know how to do yet because you were trained to do whatever job that you did that you do right now or that you were doing. And then you, then you decided you wanted to be a coach or you wanted to change lives or you wanted to be a practitioner or whatever, you know, you wanted to help people become better versions of themselves and whatever your zone of genius was. And so in order to do that and become that person, you, it's like, you got to go through training camp, AKA you just got to keep ripping off the bandaid. Right. And another way to say this in a bit, a harsher way, a bit more straightforward way. And this is what like came through in my journaling. I don't remember if I said that earlier, but I was journaling last night and something came through about what I wanted to share about like what my audience needed to hear. And it's like, you have got to put in the work, which is, and part of, and I mean, ripping off the bandaid is AKA put in the fucking work. Right. But putting in the work doesn't always look like creating massive amounts of content and creating all these offers and hiring a million dollar coach, like putting in the work might be like learning to calm the fuck down and meditate, right? Putting in the work might be working on your communication skills. Putting in the work might be showing up online and refining your message and just finding your voice. Putting in the work might be building your confidence. Putting in the work might be hiring accountability. It might be hiring an inspiring course. Putting in the work is the only fucking way to get there. But putting in the work doesn't always look the same. Like when you do a puzzle, like each puzzle piece, just it's not identical. It looks like it's every single one's individualistic, right? But each one is work, right? And you got to work to make it fit. And then the whole thing slowly comes together. It's like you are building the masterpiece of your empire, of your business, business of your dreams by putting the puzzle pieces together. And each puzzle piece is a piece of fucking work. Is it a bandaid that you're ripping off, right? And so in order to do that, over time continuously and, and actually get results you know in the way that you want to not like making money by sacrificing your time doing something that you hate but actually making money in the way that you want to with the type of empire that you want to build you have got to continuously show up and you've got to understand and you've got to believe in yourself right those are like the two things do the work and believe in yourself but believing in yourself sometimes comes from doing the work you know what I mean? Like you couldn't drive a fucking car until you practice about how to drive a car, right? So maybe you can't run an empire and make millions of dollars online until you practice running an empire and practice about how to make millions of dollars online. Like you have to do the job of someone that you don't know how to do until you know how to do that job and you become that person. You have to rip off the bandaid over and over and over again and trust and believe and know that as you do the work and as you show up for it and as you say yes and as you continue along this journey, it's going to click in and it's going to compound. It's going to have a snowball effect, right? And so we get really caught up and lost and like, oh, I did one thing and it didn't work. I did three things and it didn't work. It's like, well, you're actually going to have to do 10 million fucking things, right? Like, just like when you learned anything new for the first time, 
you had to do 10 million things, right? When you got your grad degree, when you, when you got your undergrad degree, like, oh my God, like, yeah. How many tests did you have to take? A million, right? How many study guides did you have to make? A million. How many quizzes did you take before the test? A thousand. You know what I mean? And so you are just in that. It's like you are in training, but not just you're in training. You're becoming, right? You're becoming the person who knows how to get results, who, who believes that they can get results and then who actually gets results, right? And so it's just this process. We have to understand that when we're going for the goal, also I've been liking the phrase going for the gold, right? Because I'm like, fuck silver, fuck bronze. I'm gold all day. Like gold medal only, first place only. And first place really just means saying yes to exactly what you want to say yes to. It's not watering down your dreams. It's not watering down what you actually want because you don't think you're capable because other people are being haters about it because you're scared. That's that's like, no, that that's preliminary qualification didn't make it. You know, that's not even on the podium. That's not even silver. That's not even bronze. It's actually going, getting the gold, getting first place is actually being honest about what you want and then going for it and standing for nothing less. But what that requires is yes, belief in self, but it requires doing the work and the work can look like a myriad of things. There's infinite different genres of work. It depends on where you are in your journey about what you need, right? And so you have got to just continue to do the work. And by doing the work, you're going to naturally start to believe in yourself. And by doing both of those two things, you're going to get the gold. You're going to build an empire. Okay. So I've gone way over on my time. Um, cause I said it was going to be quick and I guess it was kind of quick, but this was not in my plan today. But I think if you've followed me the past few days, you've, I've shared with you, my word is flow. So I'm flowing what feels right. I'm saying yes. This is a new and deeper layer of trust in my business, in my life flow, in how I function, in my day to day, and in my micro moments of building my own empire to the next level. So anyway, I'm glad that I did went, go live. It's like I did a workout. It's like I, it's like I showed up in the way to, that now like my body and my spirit and soul is happy for. And the fact that I just did hot yoga in 107 degrees was also helpful for purging my soul and purging the devil of self-doubt and purging the, the demons of not wanting to put in the work. Cause fuck that shit. We can put in the work and we actually want to put in the work because we want a life that we actually love, right? Which requires the work and belief, but those two go hand in hand because you build belief by doing the work. Okay. So that's that. If you're ready to go deeper into this kind of work, to step into the person who actually builds the thing, who builds that belief in self, that resilience, that confidence, that trust, that continuous dedication to rip the bandaid off and to do it anyway, and to keep ripping the bandaid off and actually do the damn thing, then my course, Badass, become the person who builds the empire, the journey of limitless power, right? No one can take the power away from you because you know your legacy, you know your leadership, you know who you are, and you're so anchored into your mission and to who you are, and you've gotten all the bullshit beliefs and the obstacles out of the way that you actually get results. You actually become the person who does the thing. This is identity work. This is changing who you fundamentally identify as and are and show up as in your energetic blueprint in order to become the person who has the empire, who builds the empire, right? It's like, oh, I got this, I got this, I got this. It's just fundamentally believing I got this, right? But we have to address all the different things that have you believing that you don't got this and we got to clear that and we got to move through it and we got to restate our mission and refine our message and become, you know, the embodied version of who we know we were born to be. So that's badass. I'm going to link that below. Um, and then it's also the link in my bio, but if you want to know more information about what that specifically entails, price points, payment plans, whatever, that'll be there. Also, if you're really new to the game, if you're really like, if it's your first time ripping off that band aid, then my course workshop, the fundamentals of fueling your fuck. Yeah. is for you. This is how to actually just find what, find the way and the confidence and the belief that, oh my God, I actually can give myself permission to go for what I want. This is when you're like really earlier in the journey, right? And this is a much shorter program, right? It's like a, a training that's like an hour and a half, two hours, whereas Badass is a six week journey with meditations and workbooks and video modules and a private group and all of that. And so the, 
badass is, you know, you, you meant for big things, you know, you're meant for amazing, huge, unconventional, non-traditional things. And you got to flip the switch and become the person who actually believes they can get it and puts in the work to do it. That's the journey of becoming the badass that dwells deep within. Cause you already know that's who you are. You might just not be showing up accordingly in your vibe. You might still be a little bit timid or a little bit like, not fully unapologetic in who you are in your message and you're showing up and even in, in your life and in your business, right? And so we have to clean that up. We have to clean that energy up and actually stand in the full expression of who we are. And that's what we do in Badass. But the beginning of that, even like the rudimentary work behind that is just figuring out how to execute by saying yes to intuition, by saying yes to fuck yes energy, right? Which is the fundamentals of fueling your fuck yeah, right? So I'll link that below. Um, if you have any questions, message me. Um, I was going to say see you tomorrow um, to go live again, but who knows because you, now I'm living in flow in the way of if it's meant, I'm meant to go live, I go live. And if I don't, I don't because today I was not going to go live and I did. So I'll see you when I see you. Remember, you have fuck yes energy inside of you. You have magic. You have brilliance. You have X factor. Je ne sais quoi. Je zest fire inside of you, but it's your responsibility to fuel it. All right, bye.